Hello and welcome back to another Thrive Apprentice tutorial in which I want to show you how to set up a free online course funnel. We will be going through the process of setting up a Thrive Apprentice course that will be available only for the registered users of your website. So they basically need to have the subscriber role in order to get access to this course. We can easily do that by tying our Thrive Apprentice course to a product for which we will have to set up some access requirements and access restriction rules. And also what I want to show you here is how to automatically add all these newly registered users to your mailing list. So here on my screen, I have my Thrive Apprentice course. This is the one that I will be working on. And you can see here that I've already assigned a restriction label to it, letting everyone know that this course is only for my subscribers. Now what I need to do is open the access restrictions tab and create a new product. You can see here that my course has been automatically added to this product. It has also inherited the same name. And if you want, you can include non-course content in this product. So maybe you want this product to also include WordPress pages, blog posts, content by specific authors, or maybe specific WordPress tags. And once you are done setting everything up, as you can see, I'm just going to leave this course for the moment here. You can click on done and you will get to this view where you can start setting up some rules at product level. So the rules that you set up here will be applied to this product in particular. Let's just swipe over to this access requirements tab. And here in the WordPress user role section, I just need to tick the option next to the subscriber role and then click save. Now my access requirement rule has been added as simple as that. And basically this means that my course is restricted to anyone who does not have a subscriber role. So this is a mandatory condition that needs to be met in order for my users to be able to access the course. Next, here in the Access Restriction Rules tab, we can set up the content that will be displayed to everyone who does not have the necessary permissions for accessing the course. So they need to know why exactly they do not have access and what they can do in order to be granted access to this course or to this product. And what I want to display is a custom page that has an opt-in form for collecting leads and also this opt-in form will work as a registration form. But we will come back to this section at the very end of this video, as this is the last step that we will be configuring. But before we do that, let's just quickly jump into the process of creating this custom page that I was telling you about so that when we come back to this section, we can set it as our default page to be displayed. So I'm going to create a new page now and let's just call it registration page for vector course and now publish it and launch it with Thrive Architect. Here, feel free to use the elements or the templates from the Thrive Visual Editor to create the page that you need. I will use this predefined template and then customize various parts so that it matches my offer. So you can see here that I've added this text, which says create an account below and get instant access to our free vector course and our weekly newsletter. And this is just in order to make sure that our users know that they will be added to our mailing list. Now let's just add a lead generation element to our canvas and start making the necessary configurations. So we first need to make sure that this element is selected so we can check that here in the highlighted part of the breadcrumbs. And then in order to connect it to our email provider, we have to click on add connection here, select the service that we want to use. I'm going to be using MailChimp, but of course you can select here the autoresponder of your choice. And then what I also want to do is make sure that here in the after successful submission section, I'm going to redirect the users to a custom URL, which in this case will be the course they were trying to access. So to get that, you can simply come here to your course main dashboard and copy this URL. Now let's just paste it here. And now anyone that submits this form will be instantly redirected to the course page. Okay, so as this is currently set up, anyone that's submitting this form will also be added to your mailing list. However, they do not have the subscriber role assigned to them just yet. There's one extra step needed here, and that is to connect this form to a WordPress account. So for that, you just need to add a new connection from here, just as in the case of the previously set up connection. And then here from this list, pick WordPress account. Okay, and here 
this was automatically selected by default and it says that here you can choose which role to be granted to the new users so i'm going to leave it as it is because the subscriber role is the one that i want to grant access to of course this list might vary depending on the roles that you have set up on your website okay lastly we have to set up the form fields and at the moment this form has the name and email ones the email being a mandatory field but i also want to add here a password field and a confirm password one so that the visitors can set up the wordpress password while filling out this form okay and this can be easily set up from this section so let me just add a new form field from here let's also add a placeholder so that the user will know what's required here and make it a required one and then let's also add the confirm password field okay so now I'm gonna save everything and go back to my product in Tribe Apprentice. Okay, so here in the Access Restriction Rules tab, I will make sure that I display the content that I want to all visitors trying to access my course without meeting the conditions that I set up. So in other words, to those users who do not have the necessary permissions. Now, every time you create a new product, it will inherit the default site behavior rules that you have set up at site level from here. But of course, if you want, you can change these rules and display something that's only applicable for this product in particular, like I will be doing just now. So I'm going to leave the default site behavior for the drip feed protection and also for the purchase protection because this is not the case here. And I'm just going to configure the user not logged in context. And what I want to do here is open this pop up and select this option, which allows me to redirect the visitors to the page that I've just created. This way, anyone trying to access the course will see this page and thus will be given the opportunity to fill out the form and not only receive access to the course, but also be automatically added to my mailing list. Now I want to show you the exact same process, but from a new user perspective. So let me just open my course in a private window and take you through the registration process. So you can see the label right here, which says subscribers only. So this is clearly letting me know that I need to be a subscriber in order to access this course. So if I click on get started, I will see this page that I've just set up. So let me just fill in the details and create my account. And once this was successfully submitted, I was granted access to the course. So this was the process of setting up and creating a free online course funnel in which all your newly registered users will be granted access to your free course and also will be added to your mailing list. Now feel free to check out our knowledge base if you want to learn more about Tribe Apprentice and also don't hesitate to check out the other sections of our knowledge base if you want to find out more information about our products.